Hey everyone, Tongue Geek here, back with another Tongue Geek's Pokemon Wild Adventure episode. And on the last episode, we, um. We adventured up Celestial Tower, uh, rang the bell, and then we, uh, got into a nice little battle with Skylar. Huzzah! Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna be heading off to. Twist Mountain. Now the reason thing my voice sounds a little different than usual is because this is post commentary. And by that I mean obviously I recorded the footage and that and I'm doing the audio or commentary I should say later on. Main reason is just I couldn't I well I just didn't feel like talking earlier, so plus Twist Mountain is annoying. Well, actually, it wasn't as annoying as I thought it was originally, because it's kind of annoying during winter time. But it was actually especially annoying this time round because guess what? That's right. For the third time this adventure, my camcorder screwed up. Yeah, I I, I don't know what it is about Pokemon White, but for whatever reason, my camcorder is just going completely and utterly just no, no. Just no, no. I mean, like, the first time around, it, for whatever reason, its audio cut it out during, towards the end of one episode. And then only a few episodes back, the footage decided to cut out in both my actual playback on my camcorder and during my video editing software, but not Windows Media Player or, you know, um, Flash, uh, QuickTime, sorry. And now, this time round, sort of the same thing happened again. I was going through uh, Twist Mountain, and when I looked at my camcorder to check, for some reason, the recording time was stuck at like 35 minutes. And then I tried turning off my camcorder, it wouldn't turn off, I tried smacking it, didn't quite help. Had to take the batteries out, do the classic old blowing into the batteries, blowing into where you put in the batteries, putting the batteries back in, and turning it on. And yeah, for some reason the camcorder kind of stopped recording after well, what? Well, after quite well, after a reasonable amount of time. I mean, it was only like stopped recording after a few minutes, or a few minutes before I noticed. But yeah, I had to restart going through Twist Mountain all over again to get up to that exact point. But even then, I surpassed where I actually the video cut it off. You'll see when we get to that later, because well. I can point it out, obviously. But anyway, um, so yeah, this is pretty much just what I'm doing right now. Um, clearly it's not the game audio you're hearing right now. It's freaking Mount Coronet from Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum because, well, I love it, and it kind of fits with you know Twist Mountain. It's a mountain. It's winter time, so it kind of works. Anyway, we get to Twist Mountain here, and then Sharon decides to show up. Toku! Since we both bought the jet badge now, yeah. Okay, well my past self was kind of impatient and was just rapidly pressing A button, I guess. So anyway, as usual, we fight Sharon after obtaining our jet, oh, uh, after obtaining A badge. So, yeah. Not cool, considering my Pokemon are already slightly weakened. From the, the couple of fights with those jesters, so yeah, yeah. whatever. He now has an un pheasant because you know it's not a pheasant; it's an um pheasant. So yeah, um, I think it was I think it was one of those jesters, or was it one of the jesters? I'm pretty sure it was one of those jesters who kept using detect like three times. In a row, and actually managed to get it to work all three times, and that really annoyed me because you know how I how I feel about protect and detect. They are horrible, horrible moves, horrible moves. Uh, anyway, so anyway, took out that on pheasant. Now we're onto a pig knight. His pig knight, obviously, not just a pig knight. It's Charon's pig knight. So. Yeah, ow, that hurt. Oh yeah, uh, Sharon's Big Knight's holding a uh, leftover. Isn't that quite amazing? Your strength and my strength, right. Let's test them. Okay, well whatever, I've got Aqua Jet, which makes me go first. 
looks like the only water type move I have that's well, the only water type move I have at the moment. Anyway, Simba Sage, which is the grass monkey thing. So at that point I was trying to remember what one it was and then like who I should switch to, because I don't really have a fire type on my time on my team apart from Sim Simba Seer. But whatever, I might switch to Woolmaster. Since both him and uh Tone Geek are kind of the lowest leveled out of the four. So freaking seed bomb. But uh, don't worry, because I've got Shadow Ball. Azush! And, uh, yeah, if you like Chairman's fight and, you know, earlier where we were talking to our mom on the transceiver and for uh, just one other part later on, they're all played in normal time, but otherwise everything else is played in full time speed. They're originally playing at two times speed, but the video was going on longer than the Mount Coronet music, so. I thought I'd just do my typical times four, so. Anyway, can you. I wasn't even paying attention to what he was saying. And that fake out, which is annoying. Because obviously you always flinch. Whatever, just a signal beam and a light purd is dead. And there goes Charon. So it's around about this point. That was a fine Pokemon battle. I'm happy to see you are both growing as trainers. Yep. It's Mr. Light Voice himself, Alder. Who can freaking jump off a cliff. And doesn't appear to have a shadow underneath him if you can, if you look. I mean, look at him compared to Charon. Look at their feet. Where is his shadow? Where is Alder's shadow? Oh, honest. Oh, oh no, wait. Oh, honestly, Charon. Just accept a compliment without the stinging remark. I've asked you this before. What do you plan to do after becoming strong? If I get strong and become the champion, that will be the reason for my existence. I want to prove that I'm really living. That's deep, Charon. Hmm. You remind me of Marshall. Marshall! Is that Marshall Erickson? Or is this a completely different Marshall? Ah, oh, whatever. Just spout out your words of encouragement there, Alder. And take this. <gasps> he now has a shadow. Huzzah. And we get HMO3 Surf. Huzzah. So yeah, if you use the move first, or if you can cross over or travel over water. And there he goes. And as Sharon leaves, bang speed up, there we go. So I'm just going back quickly to this house so I can heal up. And I talk to the woman again for whatever reason. But then I leave back over the wooden platforms, Twist Mountain, and 